Good day everyone, hope you are well. Today we are going to have a look at the grade 8 cash receipt journal exercises, exercise 1, which is due on the 17th of June. Right, so answer the questions that follow. Name four types of businesses that offer a service only. Do not give the name of a business. Right, hairdressers, not Gary Ron. Right, so examples, doctors, they provide a service. Healthcare services, lawyers, they provide legal services, car wash, they wash your car, garden services, they will come and work in your garden. Point being, all four of these examples provide services. You can use any suitable um, example, as long as they only provide a service. What is the journal called for recording money received by a business? It is called a cash receipt journal. Okay, a CRJ. So this far you know about two journals, the cash payment journal and the cash receipt journal. Right, name three source documents you will use to complete a cash receipt journal and write the abbreviation used for each. Cash register roll, CRR, a duplicate receipt, dup-receipt, bank statement, VAS. Right, why is the duplicate receipt used by the business for recording? The customer receives the original. So if you are the business, you will um, write out a receipt and you will give it to your customer and you will keep the duplicate as proof of the transaction. Right, cash journals may be referred to as books of prime, entry and subsidiary books. Which column will not record any amount when the words directly deposited in the bank are written in the transaction? The analysis of receipts column. The reason for this is because it is deposited directly into the bank account, you will not have the opportunity to analyze this transaction before it reflects in your bank account. Give a reason why current income is allocated a column in the cash receipt journal it is because it is a account that is used a lot in a business when you provide a service and then all of the accounts not often used will um, will have to be recorded in your sundry account at the end of your cash receipt journal i will do a lot of examples with you so it is easy to understand